students most welcome in this new platform which is studio cod org where we are actually going to start building our games so let's get started now we are going to start with exploring this beautiful environment here and on the left hand side if you see there's a small play area now this area is going to show whatever we built and if you see we have three small icons first is the code on which actually we are and we are going to code second is the costumes now costumes is if i click on this i'll show you different kind of costumes or we can say the sprites we can select from here and then we can use it in our game then we have different backgrounds which we can use again if i click on plus sign you'll see different backgrounds which we can use to build our games and then we have a come back to the code and show you then we have a small block section in the middle now this block section is very important in which we have all the blocks which we are going to explore eventually now if you i click on the world section you will see now to set a background of course we have to start with setting a background so i take this small block which is called as set a background from here and set whatever i wish to the background okay then of course we can also set the color of the background with choosing the set background color and slowly we will be exploring all these for whatever function they are required then we come to the sprites now what are sprites these are small graphic elements graphic elements which are required here and which act as a player in the game and then these are the blocks which are used to create different sprites in the game and we use this make new sprite make three or any number of sprites and all different blocks we have here if you see we have set size block to give a size to the sprite and this is how we are going to explore these then comes the location location would help us to give the location to the sprite then events events is to give the initiate a, a change or a movement in the game like for example when oppressed when clicked when touches so all these we are going to explore again and then is the behavior that how the sprite which we are using here in this game is going to behave for that purpose we'll be using this sprite begins sprite stops and this is draggable and all these fluttering growing all these will be using and all these blocks like loops variables maths logic function text and comments so slowly we are going to use all these blocks in the game so let's get started here so we are going to start with very very simple and basic uh, click event now i'll show you first of all how to give a background to the play area so i'm straight away going to go to the world section pick up a block which is called as set background i'll give us background now i want to let's say i want to give a background of a desert and in that desert we have a boy who is moving around let's see how we can do this so first of all i'll go to the backgrounds i click on the backgrounds if you see i click on the plus sign here and you see different backgrounds so i'll click on this background called as a desert it looks like a desert so now i have chosen this i go back to the code and over here i take this see so this is the background set now we need a small little sprite here or a player sprite can also be called as a player so i'll go to sprites take this block make new sprite i'll drag it and drop over here and we should make sure that when we take the block to the workspace it should be put under wind run and the cluck sound should make see cluck sound comes now by default every time this bunny is going to come whenever i select a make new sprite but here and by default the location is also going to be 200 200 this location will you know uh, work on this in more detail in upcoming classes now let's talk about this sprite now this sprite suppose i select i don't want this bunny of course i want a boy to be here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the costumes see plus sign and then i go to the host i'll just scroll down i'll see more and more of the sprites here now suppose i want people i click on people so i have lot of people here 
I can select any of the boy over here suppose I select this boy right I click this boy and maybe I'll take this boy as well this boy as well and done so I go back to the code and I select this boy when I go up you'll see whatever I clicked it will come to the top so I'm taking this boy which comes on the front now this is in the air I want to change the location I want it to be somewhere on the earth or on the bottom so how do I do that so I'll click on this see this is the location block which is right now 200 200 which is up in the middle so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this spoon kind of thing see I click on this everything turns dark now I if you go to the play area you will see this boy also starts moving when I click my cursor here and there wherever my cursor goes this boy goes along with it so I want right now this boy to be on the bottom or on the ground so I click here and it stays here see and location also changes here now I now what are we doing here we are learning about the click based event so what I'm going to do I want that this boy should move towards left when I click on it okay so for that purpose all the these click based events or you know all these events blocks are over here so I want this click block so I'll take this now when this boy clicked I want this boy see the sprite should be absolutely the same which is at, at the top I have selected now I want this boy to go to, when I click on this boy it should move towards left now it should be moving towards left but I want I, I also want that this boy's you know face also should turn towards left so for that purpose what I'm going to do I'm going to go to the sprites and I would take one block which is called as change costume change costume means we can change the boys costume means boys look maybe in the terms of direction maybe in the terms of his uniform or the you know color whatever so here I want to change the boys costume to this that is the boy facing towards left see so I want to change oh sorry I want to change this boy from the front look to the boy on the left see and then when I click on this boy first of all the boy should change from the front look to the left look and then it should start moving towards left so for that I'll go to behaviors and take this and sprite begins sprite means our boy starts going now which boy the boy which I have made you know moving towards uh, or facing towards left so I wanted to move again I'll go to behaviors I want it to go towards left now left would be here not left it should it would be in the uh, language of north east south and west so you are going to take of course you know left is west so I will take moving west see I'll take this block moving west so here it goes now let's check now whenever this is the our code is complete and we want to check whether it's working or not so I'm going to click on run and see what I have to I have to click on this boy so what had I given the order of clicking on the boy so when I click on this boy it should move towards left and start moving towards left see yeah see beautifully working isn't it okay now let's build one more similar kind of uh, uh, coding here similar kind of here so let's say I'll again go to I'll go I'll go to this create go to sprite lab again a new sprite lab see this plan comes now I'll use this click event once more <coughs> now this time I'm taking a different background suppose here I take this background of maybe a water now I take this water you can take it directly also if it is there so I have taken underwater background okay now I want a fish inside it so make new sprite of a fish now I'll select a fish from here if it is there see there is a fish already so I can select out of it see there's a fish okay I select this fish see it has come here and if you want you can take it to the side again let's see I'll take it to the somewhere here maybe in the bottom something now I want when this you know fish is clicked 
it should start you know swimming inside the water so look here so when i click because this is the one same fish i have to select to make to give it a behavior so here we i don't need to change its direction because i want it to be swimming here so i'll go to behaviors sprite begins what is our sprite it is a fish so what i want this fish to do again go to how i want it to behave so i want this fish to move right and left swim right and left so here we go see swimming left and right we have this block see when clicked so let's start so when i click it should start moving left and right see it's moving left and right isn't this amazing okay one more let's take one more example i'll go again back to the sprite lab and here we go now this time i'm going to take a background of a let's say a field where i want a cow so i will take a field maybe i'll take this field see okay let's take other field so i go to the backgrounds click on plus sign and i want a beautiful field here where i can you know see the cow wandering so here we go see i take this one this is looking good this one is good so i go back to the code select this see now i want a cow to wander here so i'll take this here and i take a cow see this one okay now i want to place so this cow is looking so big gold so now this time i'm going to change the size of the cow as well so uh, how do i change the size again i go to sprite and change the size of the cow see set size cow 50 now this 50 is already it's on 50 so i'll make it 35 somewhere a bit smaller see i'll take it a 35 so it's looking good but it is not changed why because i have to change the sprite here also see now 35 is very small let us see if i make it 50 back so it is good enough i think 50 is also 75 let it be 75 okay great this one is perfect now i want this cow to move towards the right when clicked so what i do again i'll go to events when click because see we are only learning here click events so that's why i'm using this next time we'll be using press event so when cow clicked it should move towards right again i go to behaviors see i click on it it will come out i'll put it here change it to cow and then i would again go to behaviors and make it go towards right is our east so i'll say move east so let's see if it goes to east see it's going towards it wonderful yeah one more let's take one more example and then we are done okay now this time i will take a b now let's say i take this i set a background uh, of a maybe a field or a park let's see i'll go to backgrounds and let's select some beautiful background here of a field let's say okay let us go down and explore more fields over here or maybe a park okay let's have this one or maybe this one done oh not a new background i'm going back to the code and selecting the same so i'll select a, this see that's a beautiful one and what sprite i'll take this time i'll take a b so i'm taking a b here see i take a b this one is our b right now i want this to be on the top somewhere so i'll put it here see okay now i want to give it a behavior of wandering so i will say when sorry so before that i will go to events and i'll say when b clicked so when this b is clicked it should start wandering so i go to behaviors and give it a wandering behavior just click on it to make it go outside and then snap it again take a b 
and give go again to behaviors and i want this time to give a behavior of wandering let's check we have that or not see wandering so it starts wandering when i click on it see let's see if it works yay moreover we can give a sound also to this so how do we give a sound let's give a sound so play digital one more so i can give it a sound of some animal or a bee let's say bee buzz choose see let's say i'll click on isn't this amazing so today what did we learn we learned about how to make a background then how to make a player which is also called as a sprite then how to give it a behavior and also uh, the event which we learned is a click based event so that is all for today thank you